Hi, you guys. This is Black and Blue. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into this bling video. <laughs> Let's go. This is Black and Blue. Go ahead. What's the crime? An attempt to watch and not subscribe? Yep, that's a crime. Friends don't let friends watch and not subscribe. So, <laughs> come on, let's get into the video. Ah, do these look familiar to you guys? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I just really want to have a whole like bling series because I am a bling queen if you guys didn't know. And I just love blinging things. I do um, diamond painting because it looks so beautiful and blingy when you're done with it. I got these pens from Budget With Free. Guys, go check out her page. She's amazing. She has so many different items in her shop. And these are so beautiful. I've been wanting to bling because I love glitter and I love bling. And she made these by hand and they are very much very blingy and very beautiful. I just wanted to kick it up a notch with one of my pens and turn it into a rhinestone pen. I love writing with these. I'm I'm so curious to see how it's gonna feel. I didn't bring it down here, but I did bling one of my acrylic brushes a, about a year ago. This is an acrylic brush, I use it for doing nails, and I blinged out the handle on one of them, and I do plan on blinging out my most essential favorite brushes. These are from Young Nails. I do plan on blinging these out too, and I got different sizes so I can play with the different sizing of rhinestones. But, ah, and I have a lot of rhinestones coming in the mail because one, I needed to re-up on some better stones for nails. And don't look at my nails too closely because it's way past due time to do them. <laughs> so, let us let me show you what I'm going to be using. This is the pen that I use to write with the most. So I'm not going to be blinging this one because I want this one to stay just the way it is. I absolutely love the color. It's so beautiful. We're going to keep that one as is. This one I may bling later, but for now I'm gonna be blinging this one. I'm so excited. Okay, so what we need. We're gonna need our stones. And I am gonna I am gonna zoom in when I start actually stoning. We need our stones. We need a cool little tray to put our stones in. We need a hand file because I am gonna rough up the surface of this pen so that it gives it a really good um, a really good Base for the glue and the stones to stick to. I will be using E6000. I absolutely love E6000. This is so good when it comes to blinging on clothing or anything. <laughs> I, I use this for my baton twirling uniforms when I was a kid. So this is one option. It's called Pick Me Up from Silhouette. It has one sharp end. You could, I think, yeah, this pulls out so it has a more like flatter end and then one more pointy end but I did break the end on this I forgot what I was doing but I did break the end on it and then this side has wax here you could turn it and make more come out but this is a nice little sticky thing for you to stick to your stones to pick them up and put them on your project I also use this this is a diamond painting don't pay any attention what is this I don't even know <laughs> So this is what I use for diamond painting. This is made out of resin, and I have had this for years now, and I absolutely love it. This piece can pull out, and you can always replace it if you want to. There's an end that's open here, because if you know anything about diamond painting, you're able to use different options, kind of like this end, but you're able to use an end with multiple, where you can pick up multiple diamonds at one time. I don't care for that, but this I can also use. All I have to do is, this is, a, this is a diamond painting situation that came with all this stuff in a diamond kit and I'm just, I like using it for picking up stones. What you do is, this is a little wax stick. It's brand new, so you do have to peel off the plastic before using it, but you just stick this end into it and then it puts wax on this end and it makes it really easy to pick up stones. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off because we are gonna use it. I brought different options just in case. Depending on the size of stones that I use, I may use one or the other. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm so freaking excited. 
I want to have like a whole series of just blinging stuff because I love blinging. I was actually debating on blinging out this, blinging out this, the C's, the drips, and these little dots. I was thinking about doing that, but I don't know. I just might do just the C symbol. We'll have to see. Stay tuned <laughs> to see what I bling next. All right, we have different sizes here in the stones. They come in lots of different sizes. Mm, I love them. Okay, now for this pen, I'm not sure what size I really want to use. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I think, let's look at maybe, I don't want to go too big. So I'm thinking like maybe this size. I just put them all in here. And I'm so clumsy, so it would be just my luck to accidentally tip this. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're super pretty. I don't think there's going to be enough of this size, though. So, let's see. I don't want to go too much bigger. I just might have to get more so I can actually finish the project. But I think this is going to be the size I want to use. Let me look at this size really quick. I think this is a little bit smaller. Yeah, so this is smaller. I may just start out with this size and I may tap into this size. Let's see what it looks like just laying one on there. Yeah, see, these ones are so small, it kind of makes it hard for it to let go. Oh yeah, this is really tiny. I might actually do the tip with this size. I might actually do the tip. I wasn't thinking about doing the tip, but I could actually. Or that just might be too much stonage. <laughs> no, I might leave this black. Okay, so these are really tiny. I'm not really loving the tininess of... Well, I know I love it, but I don't think I really want to go that crazy into sizing. But then again, maybe I'll just go from thick to skinny. So, like, maybe go from a thicker stone down to a skinnier stone, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what this size is giving. <laughs> this might be the better size. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this size. Actually, I could do both, really. I could... Let's see. Let me see if this is going to work. See, I just stuck it inside there, and then it puts wax on the inside of here, and then it makes it to wear. And you want to close this up. You don't want to leave it out because you don't want it to get dried out. So if I were to pick up... See how easy it is to pick up? Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. Once you have a sticky base on there, it'll be easier for it to let go once you set it down. I think I'm gonna do two sizes. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go in between using two different sizes. <laughs> I just twisted and it just, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do two sizes. So this size and this size. So I'm going to leave them both in here. This is going to be so much fun. Now, this is going to be the adhesive we use. But first, I'm going to start with roughing up this surface. Yeah, see how I'm just kind of scuffing it up, giving it. It's the same thing as like your nails. You don't want to put a very, you don't want to put a slippery glue on a shiny surface because it will not last. 
So you really just wanna rough it up. I probably should have turned on my dust collector, but maybe wear a mask when you're doing this. Okay, we are all scuffed up. I'm gonna find a brush that I don't mind throwing away. I found a brush that I don't mind throwing away when I'm done with it. This is actually the very first acrylic brush I ever used, but I just wanna make sure that this is not too thick. Okay, let's get started. I'm just going around the base with one size, the bigger size, so that I can at least cap it off with this size. And from this down, I'll be able to do different sizes. Now the E6000 doesn't take all that long to dry, so I am trying to move kind of quick because I did put out more than I kind of wanted to. That looks so pretty. All right, now we can go ahead and move on. And I'm just gonna do different sizes. I really don't think I want it to be like an order. Yeah, it feels like the glue is starting to dry up. I'm gonna use this end for glue, see how that works for me. So this is where we are at. We are two rows in. Don't pay any attention to that one. <laughs> I may have to go in and sand again just to get rid of this because it is starting to dry up. Okay. Now I'm going to fast forward this part just because we will be here all day. Okay, that was really easy to take off. So we're back down to where we started basically. So now I know I can't use that much glue at a time. So let me get rid of this dryish layer.
Oh my gosh, I love it. Ah, oh, it's so pretty.
All right, my workstation looks a little crazy, but I finally finished. That was way too much fun. I'm, <laughs> it's been an hour and 37 minutes. That's how long it takes to do one of these pens, an hour and 37 minutes. I love it. And technically I was talking in the beginning and showing you guys stuff. So the entire length of the video from beginning to now was an hour and 37 minutes. That was super, super fun. I barely used any of this glue. If you guys noticed, you probably didn't because I'm probably fast forwarding it, but it does dry a little quick. So I do still love this. I would still prefer this over any other kind of glue. I have done this process with acrylic. That's what I used for my acrylic brush. I put acrylic on the back end and I had to hurry and put those on because acrylic does dry very fast but it also dries kind of with a lot of material in between each stone, but I'm in love. Oh my God. Okay. So I wanted to say this pen was amazing before I did this, before I even did this process, the pen is amazing. I haven't even used this one. It still has a little tip on it, but this pen, these pens are amazing. They're beautiful. I started out with a beautiful base to work with in order to turn it into this. But before even doing this, I just want to, I want to make it clear that free, you're amazing. And I love the way you make these pens. They are absolutely beautiful. A lot of us in the budgeting community have these pens from free and they're beautiful. And I love seeing people use them. So I just, since I have, since I purchased three of these pens from free, I figured it'd be okay if I turned one of these into a stone pen, a rhinestone pen. It definitely does change the weight of the pen. This one's now a little heavier. It feels like, it feels almost like what two of these would feel like, basically the weight of it. But let me know what you guys think down below. I used not as many stones as I thought I was going to use. I thought I was going to use more, more than this, but it was super fun. I absolutely loved it. This was definitely the way to go. If you have diamond painting or you do diamond painting, I'd recommend using one of these with some wax and it picks up your stones so easily. This is what I used as well with my other rhinestoning, but seriously, you can rhinestone anything you want to like anything. I was thinking about rhinestoning this. This is a real Louis Vuitton bag. It came with a Neverfull for my sister, but I took this from her. I don't even know what's in here. Um, but I was thinking about rhinestoning like the V, the L, the L and the V on here. I think that would be really cute. I don't know if I'm going to or not. She might kill me, so maybe I won't, but I absolutely love it. I'm so excited. That was super fun. Now I need to bling something else. So now that I've had the chance to bling this, what should I bling next? If you guys have any ideas on what I could bling next, let me know because I am so ready to bling. Ah, it's so beautiful, you guys. I love looking at this. I can't wait to use it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Thank you so much, Free. I love these. These are so beautiful. When you look up close, it's obviously not like in any way perfect. And you could just use the same size stone throughout. I do want to do another one. I have these really, really pretty expensive crystals coming in. They are, are they European crystals? I can't remember. Uh, but I have some really, really beautiful crystals that I ordered online from a very, very, very well known and beautiful company. So I may just rhinestone one more of these just so that probably this one, cause I really want to leave this one blue, <laughs> but I'll probably rhinestone this one potentially because I love it, but I still will be rhinestoning these brushes with really small, really small ones. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so cute. Ah, I'm so excited. But yes, let me know what I should rhinestone next. Should I rhinestone the dice? That would be really funny. Let me just see what it looks like with one of these stones inside of it. Ooh, that one's big. Okay. 
That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's actually really pretty. Okay, I might actually rhinestone these. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And I will catch you guys on the next video. I'm Tenate. Bye.